Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the synthesis of acid halides. Acid halides can be prepared from just about any carboxylic acid uh, and as I mentioned in, in a previous video acid chlorides are common but it's also possible to prepare uh, acid bromides and acid fluorides and I will discuss some of the ways that those can be done. So we have acid bromide. Um, all right, so the reagents generally used to make acetyl chloride uh, or, or any other acid chloride from its carboxylic acid is thionyl chloride. We've encountered this reagent before. It is uh, a reagent of choice for converting OH groups, hydroxy groups, into chlorines. Um, when it's done on uh, other, you know, when it's done on less acidic things, you may need to add a base to the reaction. And generally, and it's pretty general actually in its ability to to convert things into uh, to to you know halides. So it can be it can convert uh, things that look like phenols into the corresponding halide. Here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete these other reactions, but generally if you see the conversion of an OH into a Cl, you, you want to think thionyl chloride. Right? Uh, the reagent for uh, converting carboxylic acids into the acid bromide is phosphorus tribromide, which uh, shouldn't surprise you because we use this reagent on alcohols as well. So uh, this mechanism, and, and I am going to end up showing this mechanism because it deviates a little bit from the common electrophilic or it's a common nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanisms in uh, let's see. I actually want to make this I have I've, so first off uh, the first thing is nucleophilic attack of the carboxylic acid onto the biennial chloride, and you can represent this uh, either as an S nucleophilic acyl substitution, so carbon oxygen pi bond breaks, or I uh, represent, tend to represent it as an SN2 type reaction. Sulfur is big, it can do this. And, and in fact, this thing isn't planar. Uh, so, so there is, in my mind, some ability for this thing to undergo a, an SN2 substitution. And, um, whoops. So now we have our chloride anion left over, and we have a protonated, this sort of protonated intermediate. Chloride's a good nucleophile, so it can attack here. Uh, and now this is kind of looking like other nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions. Um, and if you're wondering, if, if you're wondering why I use the uh, carbonyl oxygen as my nucleophile, this is where the localized lone pairs are. Uh, the OH group here has delocalized lone pairs. It's not nucleophilic. The the carboxyl or the carbonyl uh, oxygen is nucleophilic. So now we have our our kind of tetrahedral intermediate. Oh, sulfur with our you know good leaving group hanging out here. And off goes The uh, off goes the sulfur and, and all of the things. We're going to end up with a protonated 
uh, acid chloride, and this, you know, the acid chloride is pretty acidic, or the protonated acid chloride is pretty acidic, so it's going to be okay if I use chloride anion here to uh, take that extra proton away. Oh, oxygen chlorine. And, and of course, the other uh, byproducts of the reaction are sulfur dioxide gas. And we just use this extra chlorine atom here, hydrogen chloride gas. And this is done a little bit differently. I guess you, you could add a base to this, but you want to be really careful as most things that are basic enough to, to take to deal with the, the hydrogen chloride being produced are also nucleophilic enough to react with the acid chloride. The reaction with PBr3 is really similar, except, you know, there's PBr3 here, here and there's bromide here, uh, etc. Right. I'm just going to grab this reaction and pull it down here. Uh, I'm not going to end up drawing this mechanism, but it, it looks a lot like the, the chloride version again, except the, the halogenating agent is a little different. Uh, fluorine, and I do want to mention that you can make acid fluoride, but acid fluoride, there's no sort of similar fluorinating agent like um, PBr3 or SOCl2. And so acid fluorides are made by the reaction of anhydrides with hydrogen, hydrofluoric acid. And you get one uh, fluorine and one carboxylic acid. And, and we'll talk about the reactions of acid and hydrides in a couple of videos. So here we are, the rea all the reactions for making uh, acid halides. And you might be like, well, what about iodides? Well, they exist too. Um, and generally, uh, you know, they're, they are probably made through a process that looks more like the acid fluorides. Um, but acid iodides are rarer, the carbon iodine bond is, is weaker, uh, and honestly, they don't behave the same way as the other acid halides, so we don't tend to talk about them. So this concludes video on and the formation of acid halides. In the next video, I'll talk about the reactions of acid halides. Thank you for watching.